So as a champion, and now what happens? Now we're going to tune into Raw. You know, you get John Cena wins. Well, what's going to start Raw? You know, him him saluting to the camera and start talking. But it wouldn't surprise me if that's the direction they end up going. I'll tell you what. I tell you, we're gonna, we'll wait it out, and we'll see what the main event of WrestleMania is. But I will say this. If the main event of WrestleMania is Triple H versus Randy Orton, if that's the main event, Triple H goes over. Triple H walks out of WrestleMania as champion, goes over there, right? If it's not the main event, Randy Orton walks out as champion. I think your main event would either be the SmackDown title match or The Undertaker versus Shawn Michaels. I don't know. And, we'll I, and, I, can, and I can lean to The Undertaker versus... I just, you know, for them to end with Cena as champion... I, Maybe if his movie was two weeks after WrestleMania, then I can maybe see that, yeah. you know, because then it just pushes his movie up. But, you know, but it's interesting. It's going to be interesting. Well, they've, always, they've, always got, they've always got backlash, too. If they put Triple H over at Mania, they could go on and have Orton. Or they could put Orton over at Mania and end the show on a uh, on a heel champion. I, just, I mean, it hasn't happened since 2002 to end it. With a heel champion, so I don't know. I, I, I mean, it's power. Anything can happen, man. Anything can happen. And Orton, like I said, is being pushed to the moon. How can you guys? Everybody in the chat room says, "Ryan, you're wrong. You're wrong." How can I be wrong? Everyone's got an opinion, don't they? I can have. I mean, it, an you're not wrong. I mean, exactly. <laughs> and your opinion is extremely valid because it may end up being that way. I can completely understand and see your logic behind the reasons why you feel that way. Yeah. Okay, hey, we gotta uh, we gotta take a commercial break and then uh, we'll come back. We'll take um, we'll take some live phone calls here in hour number two. We'll do chat shout outs to those of you guys in the chat room that are that are nice to me. A lot of pricks in there tonight. No, <laughs> Damn, dude. They're Ow, just shit. shooting. They're, they're shooting with you. Baby, baby, they don't like me tonight, man. They don't like that uh, the whole idea of Orton. Uh, or you, side, you side with Cena, so that was your problem right there. <laughs> yeah, I know. See, I, went, I went right to Cena. Well, as soon as I said, so yeah, I'd rather be wrestling with Cena. Everyone turned. That's it. Now you got, got 30,000 people calling you asshole. <laughs> right? Everybody hates Clark. Everybody hates Clark. No. All right. Hey, we're going to take a commercial break, guys, and uh, we'll be back right after this. And we're back, WZR Radio. Ryan Clark and Jose Rivera for hour number two. Jose, what's up, buddy? You still here? I'm here. Good, deal, Good evening. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening, WZR. The Fink, baby, the Fink. You know, they're supposed to, they're supposed to announce him um, on ECW tonight. I believe he's going to go into the Hall he of Fame. He'll be, the, he'll be, yeah, man, it's been a while since since he's been... Well, where's he been? Where's he been, actually? I mean, it doesn't... No, you know what he does? He does the WWE 24-7 thing over on uh, WWE.com, I believe. He coaches the softball team. Very good coach, by the way. But you you, you would laugh. Right? There, there, was, there was one game last year. He got so pissed off. He throws the board. I mean, he puts on a show. <laughs> really? He coaches? Oh yeah, he does. You know, he does the book. Uh, he he coaches the team, but it's amazing. He goes out there and and they have a lot of fun. I mean, it was fun with those guys, uh, especially when Coach Coach used to play for those guys as well, and he yeah. used to hit the snot out of the ball. All right, here we go with some uh, some chat shout outs, guys. If you're under there under a guest name, I'm not going to shout you out. All you got to do is go register. Just ask for your uh, your email and password. You guys can go to TalkShoe.com, just sign up, and then you guys will be all set for uh, for future shows. Everybody, everybody goes nuts. As soon as we say that we're going to do the uh, the chat shout-outs, everybody goes crazy in the chat. So it's hard for me to get you, get all you guys, but I'm going to do my best. We have uh, Ryan's aunt, rated Y2J, Y2J62, Raven. Raven, I believe, is uh, holding on the line here. We'll take uh, that call here in just a minute. Donald Warren, 91, Ryan's aunt. Jericho 133, Codebreaker oh, as well. In there, little, little, little Wayne. Mo Wayne's in there. Derek O's in there. As they, uh, as they K O. R Dub is in there. Chris Riddle. What was it? Kimmy. Kimmy Yoto. Kimmy Yoto. Is that what it was? Bless you. We have uh, Legend Killer is in there. A lot of guests. A lot of guests. You guys got to uh, register. Your, your usernames register. 
Uh, we'll do uh, some more chat shout outs. Matt Daddy is in there as well. Thaw, Thaw Wigger, Thaw Wigger, <laughs> Thaw Wigger <laughs> 420. And on that note, <laughs> and on that note, we move on, Jose. Why don't we, um, why don't we take some live phone calls? I'll do my best to take the, uh, to take the calls. Um, I don't know. I'm not very good at this, but, uh, I'll give it a shot anyway. Caller, you're live. Actually, this is Raven from the chat room. You're live on WZR Radio here on WZROnline.com. What's uh, with Tony Uh I just had a couple of points to defend here. Like when you said that Shawn Michaels and Undertaker should be main event at WrestleMania, what would that do for the title? Would oh, that be valuable in your opinion? No, that's true. That's true. I mean, it's a good point that there's. I mean, there there'd be no title. You wouldn't. You wouldn't end the show on a title match. But I just. My my point is, I don't think you can go off WrestleMania with a with with a heel win, whether it's Randy Orton or somebody else. I think you have to you have to end the show on a high note. Now, as far as the titles are concerned, you're right. What the about Undertaker versus What's that? What about WrestleMania 17? Stone Cold turns heel, shakes hands with Vince McMahon, they drink beer, Rock is all bloody. You remember That's that true. One? Yeah, no, no, I remember that. And I also remember in 2000. That was the Edison era. I also remember in 2000 when Triple H was the heel champion and the show went off the air at that point. But in, in recent years, they haven't done anything like that. So, I mean, it's just basically, it's just a personal opinion of mine. Yeah, it is. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm not. I mean, what would it do for the title? It would, obviously, it would do nothing for the title because there's there's not a title on the line in that match. You know what I mean? I think the legacy yeah. between Shawn Michaels and Undertaker it, it, that speaks volume enough as the same level as the as a championship title. The value. Oh, that too. It. That too. That too. I mean, that is a huge. I mean, when you have the Undertaker and Shawn Michaels, that's going to be a match that's talked about for years to come. Oh, you know, yeah. you, you know, you know, it's going to be a great match going in. So. I mean that's I yeah, mean, that's, and they're both tremendous workers. They just I mean they already have two world titles, and I really don't think that does any wonders for that whole division right there. Same thing with like, well, I'm glad to see the tag titles are getting unified, but they're having way too many championships with the type of shows that they're putting on right now. And I'm an avid fan, but and I know it's two separate eras. Like we're probably not going to see the attitude type stuff. Ever again, maybe. Oh, and it's, ter- it's, it's now. terrible, too, you know, because that was one of the best eras in wrestling. I mean, the 90s were great. I mean, when Steve Austin would drive beer trucks into the arena or would drive Zambonis. And, I mean, that was a great, great, great era. era. Milk truck. Yeah, yeah, but the, then they go to the, you know, 2000 hits after 2000, and then just recently they went with this PG rating. And, and, and like you said, I mean, we're not going to see a return to the Attitude Era. So, I mean, as far as, uh, I mean, it's not even too soon, at least. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, the WWE usually goes with the trend where where, where, where the where things go in life is kind of the direction they go in life. And right now they feel, you know, having a dump truck or kind of edgier storylines is will, will weaken their product. So they're going the other direction, which is a little bit more, fam, you know, family-friendly. I guess it does. It's uh, I guess it's UFC for children. It's just it's not doing very much for us. Uh, well, I guess for lack of a better word, smart fans. Yeah, I well, that's, smart that's, that's, you know, marks cause, you know, that's, you know. that's how I feel about it. Raven is is just I mean UFC for for older fans. You know you know I mean as I grow up, I mean I'm I'm kind of making the transition over to UFC. I mean, obviously, I still cover wrestling because I own the websites and that, but, I mean, UFC is, is just, uh, in my opinion, is just, it's it's based for, for older people like us, you know what I mean? And it's just, it's I mean, it's 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 crazy the amount of pay-per-view buy rates. I report that was over on MMAScoops.com, and it's just, I mean, it's Amazing. unbelievable. Unbelievable, 500,000 or more. Some of these pay-per-views, 1.2 million, 1.1 million. You and know, that's for that audience, you know, yeah. are, are converting over from the Attitude Area. I mean, that, that key demographics are leaving wrestling and, you know, in, in dealing with MMA. And, and WWE is certainly not going to try to challenge, you know, UFC because they feel that their demographics right now are – more towards well, the you know, audience. It's, which is it's a totally, it's a totally different fan base too, though. I was in Las Vegas huh. to cover UFC just a couple weeks ago, and I mean, I mean, it is, it's, it's as, I mean, the crossover is is ridiculous. I mean, the amount of wrestling fans, I would say, ten percent, if that, 
of wrestling fans watch UFC or order UFC pay-per-views. I, I think mean, it's, it's, it's probably more than that, and I'm just saying. But um, I don't think it's UFC that's totally to blame for this. You know, people stop watching wrestling and people start watching UFC. I think it has to do with the uh, the content of the product because, I mean, they can't – they're not keeping – their old fan base, and now it's just pretty much geared toward little kids. And they're all right. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the call, Raven. We uh, we got to move on to uh, to some other calls. I didn't mean to cut him off there. I thought he was uh, I thought he was done. But uh, we're gonna move on to. You want to take some more?